We have no idea to know who's coming. We're just asking for the situation to be made safer for us. And really the only way that it can be made safer for us is through the vaccinations. With a new variant emerging in Ontario and continuous traffic at Canadian borders, border officer Gus Contagana says it's time to reprioritize his fellow workers. In Fort Erie, I would say probably 75% is under 40. Contaganis represents employees at Fort Erie's Peace Bridge and says a six-foot separation can be difficult during inspections. We have to examine their cabs, so we're in searching their cabs where they've been living and driving for hours on end. That is a huge, huge risk. Do you know know who our heroes are too? Along with the firefighters, paramedics, our police, our Canadian border protection officers, and uh, they need to be protected. And if the federal government uh, doesn't get them vaccinated, we need to. That was Premier Doug Ford two weeks ago, saying border officers were a priority. Today, we asked the Premier's office and the Ministry of Health when that will be and have yet to hear a response. Niagara Public Health tells CHCH News, given limited vaccine supply, vaccinating one group early means displacing other higher-risk persons to be vaccinated later. Niagara Public Health added it expects vaccinations to start in June for people who cannot work from home, including Border Patrol and other frontline workers. How long are we going to wait till there's an outbreak? Think about closing down Queenston. Chris Sherman represents workers at the Queenston, a Whirlpool and Rainbow Bridge and says they're dealing with non-essential traffic. We're dealing with COVID positive people. We're making arrests. We're processing uh, unknown positive cases uh, for refugee claims. Uh, I think we're overdue. Sherman also says there's been an influx of Canadians entering Canada by foot. This in an effort to avoid the costly, mandatory three-day hotel quarantine issued by the federal government. Travelers must provide a valid COVID-19 test when arriving and then test again at the border. It's a self-test and we don't get results, so it doesn't affect us here on the day that it's taken. Jason Guidola, CHCH News.